Hello everybody. So, just for fun, I thought I would give you all a quick quiz. I wonder if you can guess what the topic of our quiz is. It's something that you would have studied in year three, perhaps. And also Mr. Guy's wearing a very silly costume. It's the Romans. Okay, I hope everybody loves quizzes. It's about 10 questions long. Uh, give it your best shot and let me know what the answers are. Question number one. Where would you march down the road if you were in the Roman army? Would you A, march on the right hand side of the road, B, march down the centre of the road, or C, march on the left hand side of the road? Hmm. Question two. How long would you have to stay in the Roman army once you joined? Was it A, 25 years, B, 5 years, or C, for the whole of your life? Question 3. If you were in the Roman army, what would you wear underneath your Roman uniform, your tunic? A, nothing at all, B, your underwear, or C, some leaves. Question four. If you were in the Roman army, who could you marry? A, anyone you liked, B, no one at all, or C, a Roman and only another Roman. Question five. Who paid for your Roman army uniform when you joined the army? And who also had to pay for your weapons or your food? A. The emperor. B. They were given to you for free. Or C. A bit of your wages as a soldier would come out each week to pay the Roman government back for them. Time for a break. Check your... Time for a break. Check your answers. So, Mr Guy is sitting here in his Roman toga and he's also surrounded by some of the planets in our solar system. And that's where you're going to find the answer to the next question. Which planet is named after the Roman god of war? I'll give you a clue. It's near our planet Earth. Next up, Roman numerals. Easy questions. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! What number does this represent? How about this one? Easy so far, Mr Guy. How about this one? A little bit more tricky. And this one. Give me a high five if you know what this one is. How about this one? Now this is the trickiest. What number does this represent? I've forgotten how many questions I've asked. Ha, huh, Mr. Guy. Okay, next question. Your spear has a pilum, that's the Roman word for spear, on the very tip of it, which is about 60 centimetres. That's about two rulers worth. And it's made of metal and it's sharp and it's pointy. But it would snap off after you'd thrown the spear. Why? A, so that your enemy couldn't use the weapon and throw it back at you. B, so you could put it in your pocket and carry on marching. Or C, so that the people who made it could attach it to the pole easily. 
Next question. This question's a bit gruesome, I'm just warning you. Why was a centurion, that's a big old soldier, somebody who would fight in the ring. Why was a centurion's nickname once, give me another. Fancy having a nickname called give me another. The reason was A, because he liked that his soldiers wanted to make songs up about him. So when they'd finished singing the songs, he'd say, come on, sing me another. Was it B, because he was greedy and when it, whenever he'd finished eating, he'd always ask for another bowl of food? Or was it C, when he'd finished with his weapon and it broke, he would call out to his friends, throw me another weapon. Last question, we're there already. Why would a Roman doctor not notice your screams if you were in pain? A, because he enjoyed letting you suffer. B, because he was trained to ignore your shouts. Or C, because the Romans only employed doctors who were deaf, who couldn't hear. Let's put your I know octopus skills to test. I'm sure some of you will know some of those answers. Maybe you could find out those answers. Maybe you've got a Roman book or maybe you could Google the answer. But best of luck, everybody. Now, I hope you've jotted down your answers so that you can go back and have a little think about them, mark them down, watch the clip again if you need to. Let me know how well you got on and mm, maybe there needs to be a prize for this quiz, this Roman quiz. Mm, what sort of a prize would you need if you were a Roman genius quiz master? Best of luck. See you soon. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Bye.